<laughs> okay, so you're going to need, as usual, a piece of paper and a pencil. Come on. No, I'm, I'm going to be writing for Annalise because she fell off a scooter and hurt her hand. Stop saying that. Well, I'm to okay. Okay. And just remember, right. try and keep the background noise down. And remember, there's no such thing as a silly idea. And put your hand up to answer questions, okay? I know, but I'm just in case there's new children, we need to update them. <laughs> so today, we're going to be talking about some of the skills of success. And we're going to be looking at ourselves and we're going to be thinking about what skills we have and what skills, what skills we're going to be learning, okay? So first of all, I've got a question. How old do you need to be to start a business? Put your hands up if you know the answers. Um, Dylan, how old do you think you have to be? Dylan, just unmute yourself. Um, you have to be over 18. You have to be over 18? Because you're officially um, a grown-up at that age. You think you're, okay, officially a grown-up. Let's see, how old do you think you have to be? 10. Um, you can, you don't, there's no real age you have to be to start a business. Oh, good answer, Theo. Edward, what do you think? Uh, any age. Any age. Uh, Daisy, what were you going to say? Um, I was going to say like three, because you have to be old enough to talk. Yeah, great answer. Okay, so let's just look, because the answer is you can start a business anytime you want. So look, here's a few examples I found of some kids who started businesses. So this is a who sells bath bombs. Who's in their bath before? I think, I think. Yeah. You put it at the same time. Okay. She did that when she was nine. And this is a girl who Anna Neeswell likes, who sells slime. Who gets, who watches slime videos on YouTube? Oh, I always want to make slime using shampoo, but then I get in trouble because I use it. Yeah, you do get in trouble because you use shampoo. So she, this girl sells slime and started, started selling slime when she was how old? 12, I think. And here's the boy who sells socks. He started selling socks when he was 12. So actually, Daisy's answer was really good that you just have to be able to talk in order to start a business. There's no age limit at when you can start doing these things. But one thing you do need is a certain number of skills in these areas. Now, who knows what any of these words mean? Who knows what the word enthusiasm means? Oh. Put your hand up and we know what enthusiasm means. Ollie, what does it mean? Uh, like, um, like you're happy about it and um, you... Hmm. Enthusiasm. Yeah, that's a great answer, Ollie, that you feel happy about something, positive about it. Dylan, what do you think? It's when you do something for, um, for, for joy and, um, and put effort into it. Yeah, brilliant answer. Who knows what optimism means? Daisy, what does it mean? Uh, you just, like, you're... You don't, you look at all the good things rather than the bad things. Brilliant answer, Daisy. Well done. That's really good. Who knows what communication means? You know what, Dylan? Communication means um, when you talk to one person um, or more people so you can um, share ideas or um, share feelings or talk to them. Yeah, that's right. Oh, is, is this Gilby coming in? Yeah. Hey, Gilby. Hi. Hi. So yeah, communication means talking to people and sharing your ideas. Sierra, what were you going to say? Communicate. Were you going to say what communication means? Yeah, I was going to say um, communicating with other people, talking about. Stuff. It means what? Sierra, come a bit closer. I was just going to say about talking to other people. Talking like. to other people. Right. Great answer. Yeah. Who knows what hard work means? What does it mean, Annalise? It means when you put lots of effort. Work. That's right, and lots of effort. That um, you do really like hard work, like. <laughs> exactly, you yeah. put lots of effort. Stella, what does it mean? Oh, Stella, let me show you. What does it mean? It means that you that you're that you're trying your best and you like do loads of hard work when you want to, and you Brilliant. you don't stop trying. And who knows what creativity means? Uh, Dylan, what does it mean? It, um, it's when you come up with loads of uh, um, ideas. Brilliant. Um, and Daisy, what does it mean? It means that you have lots of ideas and you know how to make them. 
Brilliant, great answers. So what we're gonna to do today is a little quiz about ourselves, okay? And we're gonna discover where we have really strong skills and where we have skills that we need to improve or that we can learn to improve if we want to improve them, okay? So what you're gonna need, oh, someone else is just joining us, who's this? Oh, it's, it's Francis. Yeah, Francis, it's Francis. Let's just welcome Francis. Hey Francis. Hi. 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 Right, Francis, we're just starting a little quiz. Francis, are you hiding? <laughs> Behind a cushion? She was playing at um, Air Hostesses and she put, she put lipstick on, so she's a bit embarrassed. Oh, she's got lipstick on? Yeah, she's very good. Annalise always wearing lipstick, but not today, <laughs> are you? There you go. Right, we're going to start a quiz, okay? So everyone get their piece of paper, and it's going to be a quick fire quiz. And basically, you're going to give yourself a mark out of 10 on various questions. Number 10 means I agree totally. And number one means I disagree totally. And it's really important that you're honest. I don't, you don't, I don't want anyone to score themselves 10 out of 10 on everything because I just won't believe you, okay? Are you ready? So what we're going to do is write down a, a subject heading and then we're going to give three answers. And then at the end, we're going to look at our scores and we're going to write ourselves a mission list as to what we're going to do. The one thing I want you to remember is that all skills are learnable, okay? So the score you have now is not the score you would have forever. So has everyone got their pen and paper? Right, right at the top of it, enthusiasm. And then I want you to score, I want you to give yourself a mark out of 10 in answer these questions. So. When someone tells me about an idea they have, I listen to understand more and I feel interested, positive and enthusiastic. Put number 10 if you really agree with that and put, put like five if you half agree and put like one if you completely disagree. Annalise, what's your answer? When someone tells you about an idea, do you feel positive or not? I give that like a seven. A seven, okay. Right. Does everyone understand what they're doing? Put your hands up if you don't understand or you're a little bit stuck. Stella and Ollie. So Ollie and Stella, when, when, you, when you listen to that, when someone tells you about an idea, do you listen and feel interested, positive and enthusiastic? Really hard, in which case give yourself top mark number 10. Or do you listen just a little bit, in which you give yourself five? Or do you not listen at all, in which you give yourself a one? Theo and Lexi, are you okay? Do you guys understand? Yeah, brilliant. Okay. Next question. When you have an idea, you're so excited that you tell everybody about it and you tell your parents and your teachers and you wake up thinking about it. If you agree, that's you, give yourself a 10. And if you disagree, if you agree a little bit, give yourself a five. Nine. Nine, okay. Three. Don't like your own ideas, give yourself a one. Question three. Has everyone written down two numbers? Uh, we didn't get the same. Okay, Theo and Lexi, on number two, when you have an idea, you feel very excited about it, or a little bit excited. If you agree, give yourself a 10, and if you disagree, give yourself a one. Holly, are you okay? Yeah. Cool. Charlotte, are you okay? Give me a thumbs up if you're okay. Yeah. Okay, question three. Even if somebody else doesn't like your idea, you still believe in it. Number 10 means you agree, you still believe in your idea, no matter what you do. Okay, 10. Okay, now add those three numbers to give, together and give yourself a score out of 30. Has everyone got a score out of 30? Ferris and Gilby, are you guys okay? You can come back to the camera, yeah? You can really hear your internet a bit down. Your internet went down? Yeah. Okay. Can you see those three questions? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We're on number three. You're on number three, okay. Right. 
Okay, so has everyone got three numbers and a score out of 30? Yeah. yeah. Great. I'm just I'm coming back in the room myself. Okay. Next, next question. Optimism. So write, write the next headline and write the word optimism. This means when things go wrong, because things always go wrong in life and at work, you need to pick yourself up again. So three questions. When things go wrong, I might feel upset for a little bit and then I try again. If you agree, give yourself a 10. If you disagree, give yourself a one. Or if you're in the middle, give yourself a five. Eight, okay. Okay, next question. When I find things difficult to do, I know I have the ability in size and I just need more time. If you agree with that strongly, give yourself a 10. If you disagree, if you agree a little bit, give yourself like an eight or a seven. And if you disagree, give yourself a one. So when things go, when, so do you want to give yourself a five? Yeah, five. Everyone got an answer to that one? Yeah. Yeah? Put your hands up if you've got an answer so I can see how everyone's doing. Oh, no. Great. Number three. Do you believe that life just gets better and better? If it's a yes, give yourself a 10. If it's a maybe, give yourself a five or a seven. And if it's a no, give yourself a one. Does life get better and better? 10. And then add the three numbers together and give yourself a score out of 30. Yeah, Okay, right. Number three. Right, creativity. Do you remember this was, lots of you said, was coming up with ideas. So write the headline creativity and let's see, do you agree or disagree with these statements? Whenever I'm presented with a problem, I can think of lots of interesting ways to solve it. If you think, yes, that's me, I can think of lots of interesting ways, give yourself a 10. If you think I can sometimes think of some ways, give yourself a five. And if you think, no, I can never think of any ways, give yourself a one. Six. A six. Okay. Okay, next question. If you, I am full of good ideas. If you think to yourself, I am full of good ideas, give yourself a 10. If you think you've got some good ideas, give yourself a five. If you think you've got no good ideas, give yourself a one. Nine. A nine, okay. Okay, and the last question. I have done some excellent thinking and sketching during the business school lessons. There's a lot of people on here who should give themselves a 10 for that. So if you think, yes, I have done some excellent thinking and sketching during these business school lessons, give yourself a 10. If you think, no, I've been terrible, give yourself a one. And if you think I've been okay, give yourself a five I don't or a seven. Think no, I think everyone who's been here before should give themselves a ten. Yeah. Okay, now add those three numbers together. Twenty-five. Twenty-five out of thirty, and you should have a score out of thirty. What if someone only got one? No one would have got one. At least I really hope. It. Put your hand up if you've now got three scores out of thirty. Three scores out of 30? Yeah. yeah, you've got three scores out of 30. Edward, have you got three scores out of 30? I'm just doing it. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, I did it. Great. Everyone's got three scores out of 30. Next we one. Won. We have two. You've got two. Okay, guys, we're going to come back to you. You haven't got the first one, right? Uh, yeah, we need the last one and the first one. You need the last one and the first one? No, last the one. one. Alright, we'll come back to you guys and do the first one in a minute, okay? Right, decision making. If you have a business, you're going to have to make lots of decisions. Who was it? Who remembers about James Dyson? And I think Dylan said how he has to two thousand people asking him decisions every, asking him to make decisions every single day. 
So, if I make this, this statement, agree or disagree, I make decisions fast. So if you think you make decisions fast, give yourself a 10. And if you think you don't make decisions fast, give yourself a lower score, like a five or a four. I think six or five. Five, well, which one? Six or five? Six. Okay. Right, next question. When I've made a decision, I stick with my decision instead of spending hours wondering if I made the wrong decision. So sometimes if, if you make a decision, you're like, yep, yeah, that's my decision. I'm done, give yourself a 10. If you're a bit like me and you make a decision, then you go, oh, did I make the right decision? Or did I make the wrong decision? Give yourself a five. And if you never know if you made the right decision, give yourself lower. Like two. A two? Okay. <laughs> No, four, four. Four, four, okay, decision making. <laughs> and number three, if I discover I've made the wrong decision, bearing in mind everybody makes the wrong decision, I just see it as something to learn from. Yeah. If you, see, if you agree with that, give yourself a 10. If you discover you made the wrong decision and then you get really upset and you get really upset and worried about it, then give yourself a lower yeah. score, okay. 10, okay. Yeah, that's really The last question is if I discover I've made the wrong decision, which happens to everybody, I see it as something to learn from. So you still feel positive about it and you say to yourself, this is something I can learn from. And then add up that score. Right, has everybody got a score, um, four scores out of 30 now? Put your hands up if you've got four scores. Yeah. Wait, yeah. did I do the last? Hang on, no, have you got four scores? Yep, yeah, great. I didn't do the last one. Yes, you did. You gave yourself a 10. Oh, yeah. Right, last set of questions. <laughs> Hard work. This is because all things, all, all the best plans require time and effort. So agree or disagree. If I want to get really good at something, I might have to work harder or put in more time than I do with other things. Put yourself a 10 if you agree with that and a 1 if you completely disagree. Okay. Question 2. I enjoy learning new skills even if I find them difficult at first. So do you enjoy learning new things even if it's hard at first? The 10? Okay. And number three, this will be interesting to see what some of you boys choose. I would choose learning new things over playing Fortnite or my other favourite activity. If you would choose to learn something new over your favourite activity, give yourself a 10. If you would not choose, if you would choose to play Fortnite or do another favourite activity over learning, give yourself a 5 or a 1. I think 10, yeah. You, what, you would choose to learn new things over watching YouTube? Oh, um, like, uh, one? Right. <laughs> I don't get that question. It that means, okay. A random number. No, don't, don't choose a random number. Basically, it means you would choose to learn new things <laughs> over doing Just your favourite thing. Okay. And then add up your last number and give yourself a score out of 30. I am just getting to Okay, has everyone got five scores out of 30? Put your hands up if you've got five scores out of 30. Great, Ferris and Gilby, we're gonna come back to you. Now, circle the thing that you've got your highest score on. Um, I circled all of them. I'll do a double circle where I've got the highest. Yeah, do the double circle with your highest score and do another circle with your lowest score. I think the lowest score, the lowest score should have two circles and the highest score is only one. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get our piece of paper and we're going to divide it into two. Put a line down the middle, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think they can see. Yeah, I think they can. So put a line down the middle. And on the left-hand side, write, I am already excellent at, 
Huh? Hang on, Stella's got a question. What app shall I use? new page. Sorry, sorry, um, Sierra, let Stella speak then. Um, uh, Sierra speak. So, Stella, what do you say? Um, what happens if you you have to you've had to turn over the page? That's um, okay. Just get a new page. Have you got a new page? Yeah, I had to turn over to do a new page. Okay, so, now start a whole new page, ready to divide it into two, okay? Sierra, what's your question? I was going to ask the same thing. Okay, so to divide it into two, we want a brand new page. And on the one side, we're going to write, I am already excellent at. And on the right hand side, write, I would like to my, improve my ability at. What's the second one to do on the other side? I would like to improve my ability. And then, and this is going to be our, this is our own personal audit of our unique skills, okay? And what we're really, really very naturally good at. So we will all know as different people, and everybody's gonna have different skills. So it doesn't matter what anyone else has got, it only matters what you've got. So we're gonna write on the left-hand side, I'm already excellent at, and take the thing you've got the highest score in, yeah. so the category you've got the highest score in, which to give you an illustration in Annalise's case was enthusiasm. Was yours enthusiasm? No. Yeah, mine was enthusiasm. Yeah, but it was. Um, that was my least highest. Was it? It was least highest one. No, my one. <laughs> oh, it was, probably it was your least highest one. Yeah. Oh, I think you're really enthusiastic. Thank you. Okay. So. And then write what you're excellent at, and I'd like you to think of some times that you've been excellent at it. So think of some specific examples where you're excellent at whatever it is you're excellent at, and just write it down. So Annalise, when, so the, and I'll do an illustration with Annalise. Hang on, Dylan, do you need some help? Yeah, I didn't write down, which, I didn't write down which ones were which. I oh, okay, you've got them in order, Dylan, have you got them in a line? Yeah, I've got them in order. Okay, so the order was, enthusiasm was number the first one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I did get it down. Okay. You did write it down, okay. So Annalise, you, I, so then think of some examples of when you displayed this personality or when you were really enthusiastic. Ollie, do you need help? Ollie, you're just, um, I'm just unmute, just unmute yourself. Yeah, so, um, so do we need to write the word uh, which we got highest in? Yes, the word which you got highest in is the one you wrote on the left hand side. What did you get highest in, Ollie? optimism brilliant that's a great catch so then think of three times when you've been optimistic i.e maybe before a football match when it was raining and you were like doesn't matter about the weather we're going to go out there and smash it so think of three times where you've been optimistic Stella. what happens if you've forgotten what it means oh tell me which tell me which word you've got and i'll tell you what it means enthusiasm okay so enthusiasm the same as Annalise, means being very happy and positive about things and being excited. So if you're really enthusiastic when someone tells you something like, so for instance, Stella, when your mum says, let's go and walk, Mabel, you say, yes, let's go. I can't wait. That's enthusiasm, okay? So then write down three examples of when you, when, when we say you're the same, when were you enthusiastic? Um. On your birthday, okay. Yes, yeah, that's a good one. Going swimming. When was another time you've been really enthusiastic? When. When are we going to? When you're seeing your friends, Chloe and Alice. Yeah. They're basically like. Yeah. I think they're basically like my cousin. Sort of. Finn, you got a question? 
Yeah. What's your question? What does optimism mean? Optimism means when you are always thinking that you're going to have a good outcome. So for instance, that would be like you're going into an exam, is, you're going into an exam and you know it might be hard, but you still think you're optimistic you're going to do a good job. So it's where you're thinking you're going to have the best outcome. So you're going in and you're hopeful and you feel confident inside that, yes, this is going to be good. Oh, yeah, I, I did go, I did do that when I was going rock When you were going rock climbing? Yeah. No, no, just wait, wait. Dylan. Do we do both sides or just the yeah. X? Yeah, if you've done that first side, then on the other side, take the area where you didn't get your highest score, so where you got your lowest score, and write, I would like to improve my ability on, and then think of how you can take a very small step on the area you got a low score on. So on Annalise's case, she got a, her lowest score on decision making. That's what I did. I got my lowest score on decision making. <laughs> and I got my decision making number five. You got, got decision who else got decision making as their lowest score? I got it as my highest. You got it as your highest thing. That's good. Um, you got it as your lowest. I um I got hard working as my lowest. You got hard work as your lowest. Edward, what did you get? That was the fifth one. Decision making. The I got hard work. work. That was mine. You got hard work, Edward. That I got mine. optimism as my lowest. You got okay. Hard working was my highest. Oh, great work, Gilby. That's good. So, Francis, what did you get? I got um, on my <laughs> one is hard. On your lowest or your highest? Yes, I can. Uh, I love your lowest is hard working. Okay, so write three ways. So, whatever your lowest one, if Annalise got decision making, Francis got hard working, write three small steps you can take to improve at that lowest one. Stella, what's your question? Oh, I just wanted to say that I got my highest score and um, enthusiasm and my uh, lowest score and decision. Well, you and Annalise are the same. How can you improve, how can you improve your decision making? Three little things you can do to improve your decision making. Edward. Which one was the fifth slide? What's that, sorry? Which one was the fifth slide? The fifth slide was hard work, Edward. What was it? <laughs> the fifth slide was hard work. We can like just like... Um, choose to do that and see how it Yeah, so what choose to trust yourself? Okay, that's what I do. But you're doing the same with them. What else can you do? Interesting, actually. Right, who's filled out their right hand side with a one small step? Yeah, that's a good idea. You mean learn from other people? Yeah, learn from other people. Yes. Okay, put your hands up if you filled out both sides. You've got your left side and your right side filled out. Okay. Okay, we just need to, Gilby's done. Yeah, Are you ready? ready? Noah's ready. Okay, so. Who would like to share what they've learned about themselves and their top skills, their unique skills that you need to them and then an area they'd like to improve? Ollie, do you want to go first? Uh, yeah, so I'm, uh, my high score was optimism. Great, so you're um, excellent at optimism. And when it was healing before a football game um, and actually throughout a football game, I wanted, we wanted to play on. I yeah. think Tim would remember it. Um, but it was like in my old school, yeah. uh, Williamson, uh, for a football club, 
and we it was healing throughout the whole game. Yeah. When we got told we had to go back because it was healing too hard and it started yeah. hurting our backs. And even though we wanted to play on, they got they said we had to go in. So you were optimistic and you still wanted to play on and thought it would be good. And Great. In the garden, yeah. um, when it when it rains, yeah. I once um when my parents said I wasn't allowed to go in the garden, yeah. Um, I proved my point. I went in, um I got an umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this was when I was younger. I put the umbrella up and literally stood outside for like five minutes <laughs> saying, I'm staying out here no matter what you say. Okay. Great example, Ollie. Um, the final one, the Q House 11 Plus. I want you were optimistic you were going to take, take the exam and get, do, and get good results. I thought, I thought um, once I did it, I thought, I, I think I'm going to get good results because the maths test was quite easy yeah. the English test was a bit harder brilliant Ollie those are really good answers and what did you get your your score in that you're going to improve and how you're going to improve it um so my last score was an enthusiasm yeah and um just practice it a bit more put my yeah. mind to it instead of saying oh, I don't want to do this and just stop arguing and do it Brilliant answers, Ollie. Really good work. And I do think that optimism and enthusiasm are quite closely aligned. So I think you probably are quite enthusiastic as well. But fantastic answers and great thinking. Well done. Right, who wants to go next? Gilby. Let me just unmute you. Well, because I'm working with Ferris, what yeah. I've learned about Ferris is that he's uh, really good at hard working <laughs> um, and he's really bad at which one? He's really bad at what? Wait, which one are you bad at, Ferris? I don't know. We didn't finish one of them. Okay, so Ferris is strength. So also it's not being bad at something, guys. It's just an area for improvement. So he's, no one's bad at anything. He's worse than other things at that thing. Uh, which one is it? Uh, at... Looking. looking for the circle. Uh, tell us about Ferris being hard working. What, what, I've lost that enthusiasm. You've got a lower score for enthusiasm. So tell us about how Ferris is hard working. What does he do that shows you he's hard working? So he helps me and like works really hard to get me good at stuff when I get stuck. Brilliant. He, Tells me the answer to my homework. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't. <laughs> uh, and when uh, I'm bad playing Fortnite, Ferris is always there to carry me. <laughs> <laughs> In the Fortnite game, that's really lovely, Gilby. Let's go. <laughs> Easy dobs. <laughs> right, who wants to share theirs next? Dylan. Um, so my strongest point is um, creativity. Brilliant. So when have you been really creative? Let's hear about some of the creative stuff you've done. Um, when, when me and Mila have nothing to play and we, um, I make up a new game so we can stay entertained. Brilliant, Dylan. Great work. Um, sometimes when, um, I'm in, when I was in school and I was, we were doing independent writing. Yeah. Um, and when I want to do new football moves in football. Brilliant answers, Dylan. That's really good. And what's the area you'd like to improve? Decision making. Decision making, okay. Because I take too long. Well, there's not necessarily such thing as too long, but what can you do to improve your decision making or help you feel more confident about your decisions? I can trust in myself more. Brilliant answer, Dylan. I can, um, if it's to do with an, um, a test question, um, I can think what's the most reasonable answer. And, put it, um, and whether I should shoot or pass in football. Brilliant, Dylan. Really good answers. Very, very good. Well done. Right, Francis, do you want to go next? Um, I'm creative at um because I did a Jackson Pollock's painting for um for um when I was in year two um I had to do 
art thing. Um, and I like. What do you like, Francis? Um, I like being dense and um, making my room more interesting. Oh, brilliant answers, Francis. That's really good. And what do you want to improve? Uh, to concentrate um, more and um, for hard working to concentrate more and do things. Great. Right, so you want to be you want to be improve your hard work, and you're going to do that by concentrating a bit more. Who else got hard working as a thing to improve? Because that's probably quite common with children. Did, did you get hard working? Yeah, you got decision making. Anyone else get hard working? Rani, you did. Oh, and Noah. Yeah. Brilliant answers. For you. Well done. Right. Who wants to share next? Charlotte wants to share. Yes. Hang on. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't. Shall I read yours out, Charlotte? No. She's very strong. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. So she's good at creative and decision making. Brilliant. Um, again, like one of the children said, making up games, developing TikToks is a thing of hers. Oh, you can't see me, sorry. Um, Charlotte, she's ran off because she's being shy. She's not really That's shy. Right. It's her first lesson. That's okay. Uh, yeah, and things to improve is hard work, spend less, less time on devices. <laughs> so the thing she's good at, Creativity on all the devices is the thing then that, um, yeah. in terms of hard work and optimism was lower as well. And Brilliant. It was hard to focus. That's well, she, she did well. Like, maybe she can share on another day. Yeah, hopefully. But she's just, she, yeah, she's freaked out. We've had to switch all the cameras off, so hopefully you can still see her, but she can't see people. So. Oh, okay, fine. All right. So, um, Charlotte, right. come here. Right, who wants to share next? Stella, what have you got? Um, so my most fun was enthusiasm. Brilliant. So when I was enthusiasm, when I, when, when I got told that I could like go, go to your house and ha have a sleepover. Yeah, that's a good time to be enthusiastic. <laughs> and when I, when I, when I got told that I could go to the trampoline park with a friend. Yeah. And when, when I go swimming with my friends it makes I I go I am enthusiasm. You're enthusiastic, brilliant. Yeah. And for my and my least form was decisions. Yeah, so um, you want to improve your decision making and how are you gonna do that? I can improve confidence so that I can be more com comfortable to um share my decisions. That's and, a really good answer, Bella. Well done. Um, I couldn't really think of any other ones because I was finding it a little bit tricky. That's all right. I think you've done a great job. Really good study. You've completely got it. You've really nailed it. So well done. Right. Who else wants to share? Edward, did you have your hand up? Let me just unmute you, Edward. Okay, Edward, ready? Yeah, I didn't have my hand up. Oh, you didn't have your hand up. Okay. Right. Does anybody else want to share? See you next to your Daisy and Barney. Barnaby, do you want to share your things? Theo does. Yeah. Great. Come on, Theo. Well, the day, first day that my sister got Fortnite, um, me and her went into a match, and I believed that she could um, get like top for 14th. So, hang on, what was the match you scored highest on? Was it Optimism? Uh, yeah, yes. And brilliant, that's very optimistic. Did your sister get the top 14 on the very first Um, like, got like 20, top 20. Wow, that's good. Yeah. Great, and what, what, what other, did you write anything else about examples of being optimistic or what else you've got? Um, you've for it? creativity, um, I built a Minecraft world. Yeah. With a jab door. Brilliant. And what did you pick that you want to improve on? Um, try and build some more stuff in Minecraft and improve my skills in Fortnite. So improve your kind of gaming skills and improve your creativity. Yeah. Brilliant. And, infu and, and enthusiasm. You want to improve your enthusiasm? Yeah. And how will you do that? Um... 
um, stop worrying about it. Yeah, great answer, Van. Be really good. Well done. Well, yeah. Right. Anyone else want to share before we move on? Did I share? No. Do you want it? Well, you've got the same as Stella. You've got excellent enthusiasm and you want to improve your decision making ability. And in fact, you made some good points, which is to trust yourself, to save the decision, and to learn from other people. Okay, so I've got one question, which is if in life you don't actually have to have every single skill going because that's too difficult one person can't be really good at everything so what can you do if you decide to start a business or you decide to start something you think oh I'm really good at this but I'm not good at that what can you do if you find yourself in that situation has anyone got any ideas of what you can do if you realize Stella what can you do you can you can like ask other people what they're good at and see if they're the same things as yours and you can get ideas of what they kind of what they do and stuff. Brilliant, really good answer. Lexi, what do you think? Persevering. Persevere, that's a good answer. Anyone else got any thoughts about what you can do? You might discover this at school. Do you sometimes work in teams and you're not the best at the team in something? What happens in the team? So some, Finn, what do you know what happens in a team if you're not the best at something? Um, yes, Annalise. You work together. You work together. Daisy, what were you going to say? Just unmute yourself, Daisy. Normally in teams, you're paired with people who, who have different skills to you, so that the whole team has all the skills. Brilliant. Another amazing answer from Daisy. So that's right. So it's really good to know the things that you're good at, your unique skills, to try and improve things that you're not good at, but also to remember that it's always better to work in a team and with other people who can help you on the things you're not so good at. Okay? Oh, I wrote it there. Know the areas you're not the best and get help from other people and work in the team. So you've all got to take away with you your, your record of what you're excellent at and the areas you're going to improve, okay? So that's the end of today's lesson. Oh, do you want to say it? That's the end of today's lesson. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.